A good day from the Chardon Weather Center. I just wanted to highlight uh, the weather that's coming uh, Friday into Saturday. And right here we have the instant weather snow maps, which show us a little bit to a trace of snow in northeast uh, Ohio and parts of northwest PA uh, into New York State into uh, New England. Uh, could see some shovelable snow according to this map. And I just wanted to highlight some other features to point out to you that a significant lake effect snow event is quite likely and quite possible from sometime late Friday into Saturday and that includes uh, Northeast Ohio and in particular the uh, Tug Hill Plateau. Now right here we have at the uh, 850 millibar level, I'm showing you the uh, available moisture up to uh, about a mile up in the atmosphere. And as we can see from some of these hours, we're getting a, a northwesterly flow off of the lakes, which are in the mid to upper 50s at this time. And with the air temperatures uh, going to drop to some 8 or so centigrade, negative centigrade, I should add, uh, over the lakes, there's going to be a lot of instability and showers produced with a difference of over 20 degrees between the lake temperature and the air temperature especially uh, and we'll even have enough uh, cold air at the surface to support snowfall all the way through the layers of the atmosphere and this is at uh, late in the afternoon Friday where precipitation should be mixing with and starting to change to snow especially in the higher elevations and I just wanted to point out to you that this moisture level which is a sufficient enough to support lake effect snows uh, does continue well into Saturday and I'll show you the other uh, models which go right into Saturday afternoon that point out to you the moisture levels. Now right here when you look at the uh, available moisture up to a mile high 850 millibars you see we're starting to shrink down a little bit the 90% uh, level which is right over here is dwindling down a bit you sort of think well this event's going to be ending the moisture starting to thin out and uh, dry air is coming in but there's additional energy feeding into this entire system right here and I'm going to show you with the next uh, six hours what happens uh, right here later in the day uh, toward evening as you can see, it's been reamplified the uh, available moisture, and we still have this west northwest flow coming over the warm waters. And at this time, uh, the Tug Hill Plateau is going to really start getting cranked up. And as the winds become more toward the west, as later in the day, Saturday, into quite possibly well into Sunday morning, parts of the Tug Hill Plateau could see quite a snow event. Uh, from the lake effects. I just wanted to point this out to everybody that uh, even though the models aren't showing a whole lot of snow for some areas that the lake effects snow prone areas could see quite a significant snowfall and in some places uh, could require warnings. Thank you so much for joining me from the Chardon Weather Center.